Okay, so in this video, we will find the Maclaurin series of the given function, x cubed over x plus 8. Now we know how to systematically find the Maclaurin series of any given function, right? For any given function f, the Maclaurin series is given by the sum from 0 to infinity, the nth derivative of f at 0 over n factorial times x to the n. So all we need to find the Maclaurin series of a given function f of x is to find higher derivatives of f, hopefully we find a pattern, then we evaluate them at 0 and we plug them into the given expression. But sometimes there are shortcuts. There are better ways of finding the Maclaurin series than finding higher derivatives and looking for a pattern. And this is such an example. So here we will not find the Maclaurin series by finding the higher derivatives of this function, then evaluating at zero and hopefully see a pattern because one, there's a way around it, and two, if you think about this, the function gives you a quotient and every time you differentiate this function, you'll have a more and more complicated quotient. So taking higher derivatives of this function is actually not very pleasant and finding the pattern is not so obvious. So here we will go around it and use a different method, namely basic knowledge of geometric series. So all we have to remember here is that 1 over 1 minus r we know is the sum when n goes from 0 to infinity of r to the n. But of course this result is only valid if an absolute value r is strictly less than 1, which means of course that r lies strictly between negative 1 and 1. So let's see now how we can use this idea to find the Maclaurin series of the given function without, as I've said before, finding higher derivatives of this function, evaluating at 0, and looking for a pattern. So, first thing, we have a 1 on the numerator, so we'll factor the x cubed. Now this looks a little closer, 1 over 1 minus r, 1 over x plus 8. Okay, look at the denominator, the constant comes first, then the variable. So here it's the variable, the constant, I'll simply swap the 2. Now we're getting closer, the problem is the constant here must be 1. Well, to turn 8 into a 1, factor 8 from the denominator, which will give you x cubed over 8 times 1 over 1 plus x over 8. You can, of course, check by multiplying it through, so 8 plus 8 over 8x, the 8's cancel, and you're left with x. So now we're almost there. What we now have is 1 over 1 plus the variable. What we need is 1 over 1 minus the variable. Well, this is easily done. We can simply write 1 minus the negative of x over 8. and now we found our r. We can view negative x over 8 as being the r from the geometric series formula, so 1 over 1 minus r, and now we can turn this simple rational function into a power series. So this will give us, well x cubed over 8 will stay there, and 1 over 1 minus r is the series, as n goes from 0 to infinity, of simply r to the n. So all of negative x over 8 to the n. 
This, of course, is only valid if an absolute value r is less than 1. So if the absolute value of negative x over 8, well, the absolute value will kill the negative, so this is the same as absolute value of x over 8 as 8 is positive, is strictly less than 1. And I can, of course, rearrange, multiply by 8. If the absolute value of x is less than 8, which is the same, of course, as saying that x lies between negative and positive 8. And now we can simplify a little bit. So x cubed over 8. And I can break these terms up, so negative 1 to the n, x to the n, over 8 to the n. And I can do one last thing, that is, with respect to n, x cubed over 8 is a constant, so I can bring this in and combine the x cubed with the x to the n, and the 8 with the 8 to the n. Oops. So negative 1 to the n stays there. x cubed times x to the n, we can add the exponents, which gives us x to the n plus 3. Same for the 8. 8 to the n times 8, 8 being 8 to the 1, so it gives us 8 to the n plus 1. So there we have it, the Maclaurin series. If you recall the original function, x cubed over x plus 8. is this series, and it is the Maclaurin series, as the center of the expansion is 0. This is x minus 0 all to the n plus 3. But this equality is not valid for all values of x, only when x lies strictly between negative 8 and positive 8. And so if you visualize this onto the real line, the center of the expansion is 0, as we have found a Maclaurin series. And the interval of convergence goes from negative 8 to positive 8. And as an aside, we can mention that the Maclaurin series has 8 as its radius of convergence. And what was elegant about the solution is we did not have to find higher derivatives of the function, and therefore getting more and more messy quotients from the quotient rule, then evaluating at zero and hopefully seeing a pattern, we were able with a little bit of algebra and our knowledge of geometric series to find a very elegant way of obtaining the Maclaurin series of the function x cubed over x plus 8. So the lesson here is that using the formula for the Maclaurin series of f in full generality, therefore finding higher derivatives of the function, evaluating at zero, and hopefully seeing a pattern, so you can then write the Maclaurin series concisely, is not always the best solution. Sometimes for simple functions, such as simple rational functions, we can turn them with a little bit of algebra and reminding ourselves of the summation formula for a geometric series, namely 1 over 1 minus r, we can use this route to obtain the Maclaurin series in a more efficient method. And that's it.